playing Texas Hold'em tournament is not only an exciting experience for new players, but it's also a recommended way of getting better at the game without it costing you a lot to play. Playing tournaments is also an excellent bankroll strategy, and you could actually even win some money, but the key is choosing the right kind of tournaments for your skill level. When you make your first deposit at Patty Power Poker, you want to avoid the mistakes many users make in trying to win big and win fast. Winning big tournaments when you're just starting out is a lot more difficult than you might think. Usually, those are the very players that actually lose big and lose fast. What you want to do is manage your bankroll to get the most out of it on your way to becoming one of those really good poker players. So, by sticking to tournaments at the start, you get to see a lot of hands played, and I mean not just yours, but by other players that you can learn from as well. Remember that tournaments also have a fixed cost. So whatever you pay to get in, that's the most you can lose. That's great for new players. Poker tournaments also have the weakest competition too, specifically the low buy-in tournaments I'm talking about, where a lot of people are actually just playing for fun. You can take advantage of that. If you check out the Patty Power Poker lobby and click on the tournaments section, for example here is a tournament that only costs $3 to get in, but we can see there's 459 players now the final table prizes could really boost your bankroll in a tournament like that. With low buy-ins like this running 24 hours a day, the field is usually full of weak players who generally play too many hands and often get knocked out of the tournament early. The best way to win against players like these is to be patient and wait for quality hands. It's a simple strategy, but it works. A lot of your opponents will be willing to play big pots with marginal hands like a middle pair, a weak ace, even a draw. And you can just wait to be up against them with real hands that stand a good chance to be the winner. Patience plays a big role in tournaments, but usually you will get a quality opportunity in the tournament to take another player's chips. You only have to play a few of these tournaments to actually see how fast the weak players drop out, leaving you with a much better chance to make some money. In fact, you can play a rather tight, predictable, book-style poker game in these tournaments and end up with a very profitable record. Once you gain confidence and experience in tournaments and have built up your poker bankroll, you can start moving up the buy-in scale to play for bigger prizes against tougher opponents. You might even want to look at playing some satellite tournaments then which have a very small entry fee but can actually get you into some major live poker tournaments. For instance, like Paddy Power Poker's own Irish Open or even the World Series of Poker. And these online satellite tournament prizes even include your travel expenses. It's very exciting. Yes, it can be done just like this guy did it. With a full house, Chris Moneymaker eliminates Sam Farhaw. This is beyond fairy tale. It's inconceivable. But you'll want to do it the smart way by getting good at the lower limits and then work your way up to bigger buy-in tournaments. Thanks for dropping by. For more information on tournaments and strategies to win them, visit the Poker School at pattypowerpoker.com.